The maintenance of hardware is simple. All you have to do is clean it with um, mild soap and water because if you use chemicals that are often found in cleaners and polishes, it can be harmful to the clear coat finish that is applied on nearly every brand of hardware. So just use a damp cloth and you'll be good. The pricing variations of hardware um, is actually pretty wide. Um, hinges can range anywhere from two to fifty dollars depending on the size, which is usually three and a half inches to five inches. Um, but it can also be different because of finish and quality. Um, the variation of pricing and handle sets is anywhere from sixty to one hundred and eighty dollars depending on size and finish, but also style. Dead bolts can range in price from ten to seventy five dollars depending on if it is a single or double bolt and also the finish. So mostly when you're um, Working with your client, you'll want to descri describe to them the pricing variations and if they are willing to spend more or less depending on the type of finish they want or the style. Some major suppliers of hardware are Sklage, Baldwin, Stanley, Quickset, Westlock, and Omnia. And these can be found in Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, anywhere that sells home improvement um, products. The quality differences between hardware, um, mostly you just have to consider what will be functional for the particular building. Also if there are any codes or ADA guidelines um, depending on the type of material that is needed in hardware. Um, and also client preference to style and expense. The varieties of hardware, um, most of the varieties come in the finishes and the style. So the finishes that are most commonly used would be brass, bronze, nickel, galvanized, chrome, plated, and antique finish. And you can see some of those on the pictures to the right. Mortise hinges um, are most commonly used when hanging an interior door. T hinges and strap hinges work well for hanging cupboards and gates and can be slightly more ornamental. Continuous hinges are used for cabinets, but also invisible hinges can be used when the client or designer wants the hinge to be invisible. Locks can come as single or double cylinder, electronic, one-sided, mechan or mechanical with a keypad. Handle sets often come as a one-piece, double-piece, full plate, or electronic. So when deciding what variety of um, hardware you might need, just make sure to determine the function and what you'd like to have it be aesthetically. The sustainability of hardware. Um, mostly what you can do is just specify the material and finish used on your hinges and locks. Um, which can maintain an environmentally conscious home or building space. Choosing between a medium or heavy duty hinges for doors um, that will be used more frequently will help them last significantly longer, which will decrease the need for a replacement. The ADA considerations for hardware is very, very important. Um, some people may have disabilities that inhibit their fine motor skills, and especially the, the elderly may have arthritis, which will um, not make it easy for them to turn knobs or have enough force to push or pull open a door by themselves. Levers are a great alternative to doorknobs or, hand, or handles um, because little force is needed in order to allow the entry. To be ADA compliant, an interior door cannot have an opening force of more than five pounds. And they have um, different tests that they can do to determine how much force is needed to open a door. And there are different sizes, size 1 through size 6, which determines the, um, the pounds of how, many, of how much it takes to force open a door. An exterior door or fire door must have the minimum opening force allowed by your local fire code, which is usually going to be 7.5 pounds. ADA compliant door closure sweep must be set so from an open position of 70 degrees, the door will take at least 3 seconds to move to a point 3 inches from the latch. To meet this requirement, the door closure must have an adjustable closing speed. And last, fire codes. With hardware, it is important that the hinges, locks, and handles are all universally designed so that everyone can exit the building safely and quickly. Panic devices, or exit devices as they're often called, um, are one way to comply with certain fire codes. And as you can see in the pictures below, um, the panic device is just a push open device and most of them will have alarms on them, and, but some might not. So that is the fire codes. And that's all for hardware. There is a video after this that you can watch um, about the disadvantages and advantages of locks and the quality differences.